let's build out my pedal board. It is a ghost fire pedal. Um, like I said before, never heard of them before. But the price is right. So we're gonna build my pedal board. And it looks like, yeah. Gonna need to get a screwdriver. This screwdriver will work. Ooh, I like that it has feet because that will give me clearance for the power brick. Cool. All right. And now I'm going to pause this and move the camera. Let's see. So they gave me this stuff. I like the stuff I bought better. Had to pause a second there to put the cat in bed for the night. She really, really likes to um, go to bed, be sent to bed at night. All right, so this is handy, this little, I don't know what these are called, but this will hold um, this on a little better maybe than just the the Velcro. So I want to do that. I believe. got power. Let's lay that down there for a second. Let's see, this guy has Velcro, this guy does not. So these guys need Velcro. my sweater. There's some Velcro on that guy. All right, let's see. And I guess I need that here now. I don't think I need those here now either. Don't need those. So what I have here Oh, this is um, <laughs> this is this is my amp, the Joyo American Sound. It is modeled after something called the Blonde, I think. It's it's basically sort of a Fender modeled amp. I'll plug that into a direct box, which will go into the board at church, and then I've got the. Um, I think it's New X. 
the Atlantic, so it's a combo delay and reverb pedal. And then just for a little bit of dirt, just, just a hair, this will have a little bit. My guitar will add, a, add to that a bit because I play with the volume a lot. And then this is the Harvey Centauri, so it's a Klon clone. Now I have to space these out all pretty, don't I? That's the most important part of the board, making sure they look good. Maybe I should do it there. This is a big one. Okay, so let's see. In there. Push that down. There's the okay. Sweet those is this long enough? Yeah, just so. Now for power. Clean that guy under there. Oh, this will be fun. One. Of course, the power is there too. That's just handy, hmm. Well, and we'll clean up this mess after a while. I guess that'll work. Hmm. This is not sticking to that so well. Of course not. bigger cable for that. I do have these guys. <sighs> that seems to work though. Okay. And now for some cable management with some handy dandy little twisties. Let's just tidy this stuff up a bit, untangle them as well.
this guy, do this. Maybe I should have done it like that, actually. And there we go. Not bad at all, I don't think. I think it came out pretty nice. And this will serve me pretty well. Um, this, the settings on it will have just, so backing up, um, my Telecaster, I don't generally turn the volume up all of the way. And I have this set, so if I do turn my volume up just a hair, I get just a bit of overdrive, just just that almost push to overdrive sound with this guy. That's sort of where I keep it. Uh, these are not the settings I generally use. They got messed up. And then this will push it just a little more over that edge. So there's just a little, just a little overdrive, which is all I need at church for what I'm doing. This guy I'll depend on a lot, the reverb and the delay, just for those slightly more lush sounds. And I'm primarily doing rhythm. I'm not doing a lot of lead work or anything. So this, I think, we'll see, but I think this will be a great little setup for what I'm doing.